हॅलो स्टुडंट्स वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑन बायोफार्मास्युटिकल्स आय एम ऋतुपर्ण करकरे फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नॉलॉजी इंजिनिअरिंग के आय टीज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग कोल्हापूर वी आर लर्निंग युनिट नंबर वन ऑफ दिस कोर्स लेटस कमेन्स विथ द लेसन नंबर टू दॅट इज डिफरन्स बिट्वीन फार्मास्युटिकल्स अँड बायोफार्मास्युटिकल्स वेन वी कन्सिडर द फार्मास्युटिकल सबस्टन्सेस दे आर जनरली लो मोलिक्युलर वेट स्मॉल मोलिक्युल्स they are made by organic synthesis and they are very well characterized but when we talk about biopharmaceuticals they are generally high molecular weight biological macromolecules made with the living cells or parts thereof and they are less easily characterized when we talk about the biological macromolecules there are four major biological macromolecules considered they are nucleic acids proteins carbohydrates and lipids the biopharmaceutical molecules in market are majorly protein based therapeutics only a few exceptions are from the other categories this is a figure which indicates the molecular weight comparative the aspirin which is a pharmaceutical small molecular drug is of only 180 dalton but all other molecules here shown which are proteins in nature like insulin human growth hormone erythropoietin monoclonal antibodies which are very high molecular weight molecules their molecular weight is in the range like 22 kilo dalton 30 kilo dalton 150 kilo dalton etc when we talk about the pharmaceutical small molecular substances and their production they are produced by organic synthesis but because in the biopharmaceuticals the majorly drugs are of protein nature they are produced by use of living cells these living cells we call them as hosts now we know from the knowledge of molecular biology the central dogma of protein synthesis any protein in any cell when synthesized it comes from the root of dna that is a gene to messenger rna the process called as transcription from messenger rna then the protein is finally getting synthesized the process is called as translation so by the pro expression of proteins these processes are carried out inside the cells when we try to express our protein drug of interest these proteins are not native proteins but the use of recombinant dna technology is there whenever there is a biopharmaceutical production the recombinant dna technology can also be called as genetic engineering where these producer living cells or hosts are modified by the gene of interest insertion when we talk about the biopharmaceutical and its classification the old classification system used three different terminologies they are biopharmaceuticals biotechnology medicine and biologic biopharmaceutical was then defined as a protein or nucleic acid based pharmaceutical substance used for therapeutic or in vivo diagnostic purposes which is produced by other than direct extraction from the native biological source this means the native extraction source like plant or animal shouldn't be used the second terminology was biotechnology medicine which was defined as any pharmaceutical product used for therapeutic or in vivo diagnostic purposes which is produced in full or in part by biotechnological means when we say biotechnological means there should be some kind of genetic manipulation in the process the third terminology was biologic it is defined as a virus therapeutic serum toxin vaccine blood product etc which are derivatives or isolated from the different type of substances like blood so there is no any genetic manipulation in place 
this was a old classification system based on this old classification system these are the different pharmaceutical products listed in this chart like recombinant proteins proteins obtained by direct extraction from the native source gene therapy products peptides etc this chart indicates all of these products are to be considered in which category whether they are to be considered as a biopharmaceutical or biotechnology medicine or biologic so here is a reflection spot exercise for you refer the previous slide the chart where all these substances are listed and find out one current example from each category of the product in the market currently biopharmaceuticals are classified as per the new system biopharmaceuticals are large molecular drugs which are 100 times of the size of small molecular drugs they have two categories one is biologics so biologics are protein derived molecules grown in the cells and further they are purified and biosimilars is the second category which is defined as the products which are highly similar to the already approved biologicals so this concept is like similar to generics in the small molecular pharmaceuticals now let us understand what is the meaning of biosimilar with this chart in the pharmaceutical industry case we know that the active pharmaceutical ingredient is the active principle or the active molecule against the disease when certain industry files a new drug new api they start marketing and manufacturing by a brand name but once their patent is expired after a certain number of years as per the law then the other competitor companies they start producing these drugs as generics so in the similar line when we talk about biopharmaceuticals instead of active pharmaceutical ingredient the active principle here is called as the drug substance ds when a company comes with a new drug here it is called as innovator biologic or reference biologic this is going to be a reference for the other companies when the patent is expired these molecules are open for manufacture to all other competitor companies so these companies will call these molecules as biosimilar which is very similar case like generic you can see this figure here where the original biologic is shown like one ice crystal and the other biosimilars they are very much similar to the original structure so this is the concept of biosimilars so here we end our lesson number 2 thank you